Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm back at you answering yet another question about the XY pads. I've done, this is the third video. The first video was how to do them for third-party plugins. It's this little XY pad down here, and you can control it by selecting down here, and then you're controlling two parameters at once. Uh, I also showed you how to configure it so you can add or take away parameters from the menu and also some devices that are large don't have any options here. I showed you how to add those options to it for any situation. Then in that last tutorial, I showed you how to use Max for Live's XY pad to add functionality to Ableton Live devices like the ping pong doesn't have an XY pad. But if we hit map here and then map the feedback and map here and map the dry wet, we'll have uh, an XY pad for a Max for Live device. Now the question was, can I add multiple parameters? So I'm moving more than just the two. Uh, but using the same XY pad. So maybe we want some reverb on there and I'll put the reverb right there. And let's say I want to, while the feedback is being added, add some decay time. And while the dry wet is being moved on the ping pong, I want the dry wet to be moved on the reverb. So the way to do that is just one more Max for Live device. It's called Multimap. Let's see where it is. Multimap, if I drop that right here, I'm actually gonna use two because I need uh, two sets and we can have up to eight now so we can have up to eight different parameters being adjusted by the x-axis and eight different parameters being adjusted by the y so obviously you can get quite uh, crazy with this but just be careful not to go overboard so what I'm going to do now is actually on this one I'm going to hit map feedback and then map decay time for this one I'm going to hit map dry wet and again map dry wet. So now I have the feedback and the decay time for this multi-map input and the dry wet for both devices on this multi-map input. And now all I have to do is hit map here and hit that input, hit map here and hit that input. And now if I minimize these and open up that ping pong delay, as I'm moving, you can see that all four parameters are moving and the dry wets for the two of them are staying the same and the feedback and the decay time are being adjusted in the same manner. Obviously the, the rate of change is a little bit different because the feedback is a percentage while the decay time is seconds, but those are something you're gonna have to think about. Also, you can come into the multi-map and adjust the minimum and maximum values. So let's say, you know, for this dry wet, I never really want it to be 100%, but maybe something around 80 for both of them. So nothing ever gets too crazy. Uh, you can also adjust the curve. So you have like a lot more control if you do it this way than if you just use the third party version, which only get, allows you two parameters. But this way you you can add up to eight and you can also adjust the minimum and maximum. You can also adjust the curves and you can adjust a lot more. You can adjust the curve on the XY pad itself. You can adjust the curve on uh, in these parameters individually. Just a, a lot more control, especially if you're doing a live set, you might have your own particular thing you're going for. Uh, this is the method that's really going to give you the ultimate set of controls. But anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.